Hi everybody, this is Dr. Ravindran Kumaran from Apollo Fesmet Hospitals in Kheer Park. So today we are going to talk about emergencies which can happen within the stomach. Now what I mean by stomach is the organ which is the reservoir. You know, we eat, the food goes through the food pipe and goes into the stomach which is the reservoir and then slowly it kind of releases the food to the small intestine for digestion. The common emergencies which people often hear of is ulcer related problems. Ulcer as a disease is on the decline, you know, this is important message. So, ulcer as a disease worldwide is on the decline because of advances in understanding why somebody develops ulcer. So, even though we often think we got ulcer or people, you know, when doctors, physicians say that patients have got ulcers, when you do endoscopies, you don't actually pick up ulcers like how we used to. 40, 50 years ago, ulcers were left, right, center everywhere. Off late, if you are doing 100 endoscopies for patients with symptoms, maybe one or two of them will be have ulcers. Most of us do not have frank ulcers. What I mean by ulcer is a wound kind of picture where there is, you know, in a picture you can clearly see that there is a wound. That is an ulcer which you do not see these days. However, when you have an ulcer and when it is not diagnosed and when it is not appropriately treated, these ulcers can go on to form complications such as bleeding. You know, they erode into the blood vessel which is behind the ulcer base and that blood bleeding can be quite catastrophic sometimes. Or the ulcer can be so deep that the intestine, meaning stomach itself, perforates. So, it gives way. So, whatever contents we have eaten and drink can come out into the abdominal cavity. So, perforated ulcers and ulcer bleeds are the main complications and emergencies which you have with the stomach. Of course, the other big emergency is the stomach itself getting blocked. Now, why does this happen? The outlet of the stomach is an area which is relatively narrow when it is connecting to the small intestine. And if you have a growth, especially a cancerous kind of growth there, the growth can slowly kind of narrow down to a point where it completely gets blocked. So, you will have a patient who has got a very long history, you know, going several months whereby they are having you know, indigestion kind of features, vomiting and then come to a point where they say they are not even able to tolerate water and that is obviously an emergency, something has to be done so that you can relieve the obstruction. Usually it will mean a major operation for the patient, especially if it is a cancer which is related to the blockage. So, these are the common emergencies with the stomach. There are much uh, more diseases which are relatively speaking rare and I do not think it is appropriate to discuss about them in this video. Thank you.